Jerry McCall here, here with Andreas Braun at the Morgan DB Offsite 2019. Andreas, how you doing? Pretty good, thank you very much. Andreas just flew over from Munich and Bayer, his arm's tired. And he's got with him two new Pringles flavors, which we're going to try for you right here, right now, at the Kalahari Resort in the Poconos, PA. Andreas, yes. why don't you tell us about these Pringles? Let's move the camera in so we get some uh, better audio. Yes, so these are rice-based Pringles. Rice fusion. Rice fusion with rice flour. So they are um, exotic flavors. We've got Indian chicken tikka masala and Malaysian red curry. A little spicy, a little from the... Yeah, I have no idea what to expect, so I think we should get going. Which one do you want to go Okay, I, I just want to say the branding is a bit questionable. It's a bit of a questionable branding yes, out of these yes. in the U.S. Yes, I'm, okay. I'm not sure. But that said, um, the stereotypical Pringles, let's start with the... I, actually, I'm very excited about the Malaysian red curry. Yes. Uh, have you had red curry? I have not had one. Okay, I've actually not had Malaysian curry. I've had many Thai curries okay. with flavors, but let's get this. Now, these were pressurized on the flight over here, uh, so we can get in for the pop, actually. Oh, that's a good oh, pop. Oh, that was some oh, bass. That was, that was nice. Back that bass up. Okay, rice fusion Malaysian red curry. What are, what are the tasting notes you're getting right here? That is palpable. This is like busting open a bag of ramen. And you know you get that seasoning packet? Yes. And you're like, maybe I'll just do a line of this right now with some white cloth. No, but it's not like that at all. But it is a very light dusting. Yes. And I just want to, can we get a, actually, let's get this. This, this is actually... This is quite strong, I want to say, the coloration for Pringles. You don't see this often. Usually it's a much lighter glaze, but this is pretty serious business. Yeah. Cheers. Initial taste impressions. Oh, it's got a nice tang to it. Mm -hmm. Not too spicy. I don't want to no. say, this is, very, this is really approachable. If you're unsure about what kind of spice tolerances you may have, you might think, oh, Malaysian red curry, it's gotta be, it's gonna be on fire. No, this is this is really nice and balanced. It's, I like the texture. It's good it's texture. Very, it's very similar very crispy. To, to the actual crispy. Yeah, I wanna say with all the, the luggage shuffling around, these really yeah. did stay intact here. These are these yeah, are in great yeah. shape. They were in okay. carry on, but still, we had a lot of trouble. Yeah, I'll definitely come back to these. These are great. Yeah. Uh, let's so, move on to the chicken tikka masala. Now this is um obviously this is like the most culturally appropriated East Asian dish yeah, I can think yes, of like with, with the UK right now. Um, so I'm not going to blame Europe for that because we all know what's happening with that. I'm sorry. Um, but let's come in here for the pop on this with the rice fusion. Nice. Oh, that's a little bit of wind. It's good. That's also a good base on that pop. Okay. This smells like a buffet, like an Indian buffet. I've just walked into, put down my $8.99 for the lunch buffet. Okay, let's let's see again. Strong red coloring. If, if we compare this side by side with the Malaysian red curry, this is um, they're they're pretty equivalent. You got some pepper flakes there on the curry, but the chicken tikka is very similar. So let's. Um, Oh, it's good. It's a bit funkier, I want to say. Yeah. There's a creaminess to it. Um, again, not spicy. There, there are some remnants of some of the uh, so Pringles internationally in the Taiwanese market. There's the um, chicken flavored Pringles, uh, chicken ramen. So I'm getting a little bit of that. I think they're using, borrowing some of the same spices that they have in that area. Um, what I'm not picking up from either of these is the rice milk. No. I want to say, like we, we highlighted on how crunchy they are, but the, the rice milk, I was expecting something a lot different than the dehydrated potato. Yeah. So uh, I'm surprised on that. I just want to say, yeah, I don't know. This is this is really just marketing. Yes. But the flavors themselves are quite good. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Any final takeaways? Any, uh, do you have a favorite between the two? I definitely like the um, the new chicken tikka masala a lot better. Um, it's a little bit spicy. So I just yeah. want to point out your pronunciation there was masala. Uh, is that yeah. typically how it's pronounced? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Can you know that? I got. Don't know what's correct. Or not. Okay. You may also know on the side, aside from Pringles and, and Jeopardy and these things, I also like to dabble with cheese. Yeah. Uh, so we have here some original cheese. It's these were seven dollars because we're in a resort in the middle of Pennsylvania, and there's nothing around here for miles. So they really, they really got us by the pants here. We, um, but you've had cheese it's before. I've had cheese it's 18 years ago. 18 years ago. This man so, hasn't had cheese it's for 18 years. Yeah. So here we go. So let's, uh, let's get this pop. Let's see, let's see how pressurized these guys are. That's actually quite a tight seal. Okay. That's a good. That's a good pop there. Um, so we've got these in the New York office, but uh, this is the original flavor. Yeah. Some of our favorites here. Let's go. Yeah, let's grab a handful. Cheese, it's best enjoyed in handfuls. So let's get a let's get a close one. Really needs no introduction. One of the most ideal cheese cracker creations on the market today. Cheese, it's. 
Yeah. Does it take you back to anything years ago, Jerry? Yeah. Excellent. Very fresh. Very crunchy. Very good. That's Jerry McCall and Jay Sprung reporting live. Mine to be 2019 offset. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.